Ashton, because you're serving, how are you going to help him with your pass? Firm, how many touches are you allowed? One. So what's important about a pass? Talk to me. If you've got a play off of one touch, so you have one touch, and I've, I'm going to pass it, and you two tell me if it's a good pass or not. Ready? He's got one touch. Good pass? Why not? Good, so it's difficult for him to deal with. So the thing that I was looking for is our weight of pass. So play in. Yeah, that's a good way to pass for me to bounce on. Play in. Perfect. Got it? Nice, Three, two, one, let's go. Step towards the ball, step towards the ball. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, now he's pulling for it as well, good. Nice, 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 Now, instead of going towards the ball, this middle person, you're going to feel away from the ball. So we're going to change it slightly. So you still receive that pass play in. I'm going to receive on my back foot, touch behind the ball. Now I'm playing, so you'll still stay that side. Now it's up to me, this person, to play a reverse pass that way. Then I go in to touch the ball, drop off, receive, touch back foot. Now I'm playing my reverse pass across, then I start again. Tuck in, drop out. Yes, play. Good. So I tuck, reverse, and I'm back in. Yes, play. Good. Tuck, play. What can happen on your two passes now? But can it be harder than our last round? Yeah. Why? Good, longer pass and he's no longer playing off of what? What were we playing off before? Coming in and playing off of what? One touch. But now he's got more than one. So we can wrap it in that little bit firmer. Ready? Off of your movement. Good, touch around the back. Good, touch around the back. Drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off. 